Hello friends, this video on neat current electricity is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's now talk about the combination of cells, cells in series. Now when the cells are connected end to end, what do we mean by end to end? Now the way we spoke about resistors in series where the resistors are connected end to end similarly when cells are connected end to end that means the positive terminal of one cell connected to the negative terminal of the other again the positive terminal of the next cell connected to the negative terminal of the next like as you see here this is the positive negative so negative connected to positive again negative connected to positive. So when the cells are connected in this fashion, they are said to be connected in series. Now what happens in a series connection? Now if we have to calculate the equivalent EMF of the cell, so how do we do that? So equivalent EMF would be equal to sum of the EMFs of all the three cells. So E equivalent will be E1 plus E2 plus E3. What would be the equivalent internal resistances of the three cells? So that would again be the same concept like resistors in series. So this would be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Right? Now if we want to calculate the current that is coming from each cell. So current from each cell. Let's call that current as I. So that current I from each cell would be equal to the net EMF of the circuit that is E equivalent divided by the net resistance of the circuit that is R equivalent. Am I correct? No, when we talk about the net resistance of the circuit, we also need to include this external resistance R. So the, the net resistance of the circuit would be R equivalent plus capital R. So this would be the current from each cell that is this is the current flowing through the circuit. Now, if you want to calculate the potential difference across the external resistance R, so what would be the potential difference across this resistance R? So that potential difference if denoted by V will be equal to IR. So I we have already calculated here. So put this value multiply it with capital R. So that gives you the potential difference across this external resistance. Now if you want to calculate potential difference across each cell, for example you want to calculate the potential difference across this cell E1. So the potential difference would be equal to R1 divided by R equivalent into capital V. So that is how you can calculate the potential difference across this cell. So in this fashion you can uh, you know kind of solve various numericals when you see that the cells are connected in series. Now here I would also like to mention about a special case. And what is that special case? If you ever come across a situation where the cells are connected in this fashion that is the negative terminals are connected to each other like the negative connected to the negative of the next cell or if you come across a situation where the positive terminals are connected to each other like positive is connected to the positive of the next cell. So here also you see the cells are connected end to end but in this case when you want to calculate the E equivalent that will be equal to E1 minus E2. So in both such scenarios E equivalent will be equal to E1 minus E2. However, R equivalent will still be R1 plus R2 because the internal resistance are, resistances are still in series. So therefore R equivalent will be R1 plus R2 but E equivalent will be equal to E1 minus E2. So all you need to remember is when the cells are connected in series in such a way that the opposite terminals are connected to each other like positive connected to negative. In that case it is sum of the EMFs but if the like terminals are connected to each other like positive connected to positive, negative connected to negative. In that case to find out the equivalent EMF you need to find the difference of the EMFs of the cells. Now what about cells in parallel? Now the cells are said to be in parallel when all the anodes are connected together and all the cathodes are connected together. Something like this. So here you see all the positive terminals they are connected to one point. All the negative terminals they are connected to one point. So here the cells are said to be in parallel.
so in this case how do we find out e equivalent so in this case e equivalent will be equal to same that is because the potential difference across all of these would be the same so potential difference across resistor r will be the same as potential difference across e1 potential difference across e2 potential difference across e3 so e equivalent is going to be same across all of them now if you talk about r equivalent then 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so in this fashion we calculate the equivalent emf and equivalent internal resistance now if you want to calculate the main current in this circuit so in the overall circuit current is equal to the net potential difference divided by the net resistance so the equivalent emf divided by equivalent resistance plus capital r so in this fashion you can find out the main current flowing through the circuit now let us look at a special case so a special case in this case could be if all the internal resistances have the same value that is r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r3 is equal to some value r so in this case what would be the r equivalent of the circuit that will be equal to r by 3 just put 1 by r plus 1 by r plus 1 by r that would be 3 by r so r equivalent will be r by 3 right so now in this case if you calculate the main current in the circuit so the main current I will be equal to E divided by R by 3 plus capital R. So that would be the main current in the circuit. However, in this case, the main current I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Because in this case, let's say that in, in the overall circuit, the current flowing is I. But through each of these cells, the current that would be flowing will be I1, I2 and I3 respectively. And I will be equal to sum of these three. Now, since we know that in this case, R1 equal to R2 equal to R3 is equal to R. We also know that in this case, E1 is equal to E2 is equal to E3 is equal to E. That's because they are all connected in parallel right so therefore we can say that i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i3 so therefore we can say that i is equal to i1 plus i1 plus i1 that is 3 i1 or you can say i1 is equal to i by 3 so basically current from each of these would be y by 3 and all of them will join together to form i which is the main current flowing through the circuit so th this was just an example to show how do you handle problems which has cells in series or parallel. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.